I had my own gym, and um, um, we had merged our gym into Lion's Den, and that was about uh, June 1st. And um, I got the opportunity. I've been working with Edwin DeWeese a lot, Joe Riggs. I've been working with uh, Kenny Leister, uh, who is an All-American ASU wrestler, uh, another gentleman named Spangler, who's a, uh, um, he's an Olympic wrestler. And uh, those guys are some tough guys, and uh, they've been helping me. But, you know, uh, <clears throat> if you really want to start with the, the MMA, it really didn't start till I started working out with the Lions. And uh, we started in a warehouse before they moved to the actual facility we're in now back in March. So, um, And the Lions End has been great help. The owner, Scott Peters, Jonas Ash, Parrish, they've been anything I've ever needed. They've always helped me. So it's been a great uh, – they're a great team. Maybe just – uh, the kicks because guys grab them, but you know I I've come a long way since the first time I fought Maurice, and uh, I'm about this close. And um, you know if I would have got went out tonight, and got my tail handed to me, and uh, and not been able to hang with Hector, and um, not proved to anyone I have improved, then I'd probably say you know what I'm retiring. But I'm this much closer. I hung with a guy that's a UFC vet, been to ring with Rashad. Uh, James Irving, Forrest, and uh, <clears throat> so I just need a little more work on the ground, more wrestlers and more um, uh, just guys on top of me. You know, it's like I don't even think when it comes to the stand-up, that's natural. That's like if a guy moves in, pow, boom, and I'm getting better and better. It's just a matter of uh, <clears throat> uh, not worrying if guys are going to take me down, and, you know, I'm that close, so... I'm happy and, uh, you know, I'm going to keep my head up. I'm a warrior and uh, I'm not going to quit. And still my goal is, no matter it be with Affliction, Elite, UFC, I want to still go after that belt. I don't know. It's it's pretty tough right now because, you know, there's so many different organizations of MMA. And, <clears throat> excuse me, K1 kind of, they came in with a bang and they left with a fizz. And, um, you know, they're not even in America anymore. And... Uh, the hot thing right now is MMA, and it's going to be hard for stand-up to come back and compete with something like that. I mean, it's great for for these guys that come up in MMA to maybe go get the experience to um, finding these smaller shows so they can go out to bigger shows like this and be able to uh, know what it's like to fight so they're in, in front of people and they know what to do. But, uh, <clears throat> then again, it's it's two different games. I mean, you know, like tonight, if I had a guy that's a wrestler and you know he was just going to get me to the ground. And, you know, it's just different styles. And, you know, at least tonight's fight, you know, it was an exciting fight, kept people into the fight. And, you know, um, you know that, I guess, <clears throat> yeah, I should have jumped on. But then, you know, I thought first thing, he would have single double leg me. Or, you know, I just didn't want to... Um, get overzealous right away so but that's all right it just um um it's a learning experience well thank you and thanks X xfa you guys do a great job promoting the sport i see uh uh you guys are actually one of my friends on myspace and uh i always watch your i think you've had tito on there and randy and other people and you guys do a great job for the sport keeping everything up to date and um and that's what we need and uh good luck to you guys thank you